Hi, I'm Ann Byhoffer. I'm from Oak Grove, Minnesota, and I'm currently the Vice President of Women Hunting and Fishing in All Seasons. The reason the organization is important to me is because we are building the future for how women are going to uh, connect with one another for hunting and fishing experiences, how they're going to be empowered to feel like they can be comfortable and confident out in the field or on the water on their own. And our purpose this weekend is to really um, define, you know, what is our organization going to grow and evolve into. We've had a lot of discussions and tried to figure out, you know, what exactly are we going to be and, and what are we going to represent. And I think we have a really solid mission statement now and we understand kind of the three-pronged approach which is empowering, educating and connecting. So this weekend is all about putting that into action. So how can we take that vision statement, what kind of ideas do we have for how we're going to connect women not only with one another, but with conservation groups that we have in the state and with other like-minded people that can kind of help them on their journey to becoming hunters and anglers. Today we're really trying to balance, um, you know, kind of brain activity with physical activity. So in the morning we had some speakers talking about kind of our background and, and what we hope to accomplish in the future. And then we had some action breakouts. So we had a group that focused on gun care and gun cleaning. Uh, we had a group that did geocaching, so that's really working with GPSs and uh, kind of like a treasure hunt, if you will, in, in nature and out in the woods. We had a group that went down and actually did some fishing, so hands-on people got to experience um, fishing and having people there, other women there, to help mentor them and guide them in the experience. An archery course open with instruction available so people can actually uh, do some archery practice. And then um, there's a high ropes class where they teach you how to climb up in high places and keep yourself secure and safe the whole time. And the fun part about that is there's actually a zip line too that, that you get to go down um, at the end of the ropes course. I'm Janae Janicki. I'm from New Richland, Minnesota. Uh, we are women hunting, fishing through the season, and we're trying to promote to get more women involved in the outdoors and to hunting and fishing. I got involved in the geocaching through th through Minnesota Bound, and I just thought it sounded really cool. You find stuff, you, you go on a nature trail, and you find stuff in the woods. If I think it's of, a, of it as a nature walk, and I teach people different stuff that I know and try to spread the goodness of nature walking. I also do, I also hunt and fish. Geocaching is a different form of hunting. If you're interested in doing something, uh, look for mentors. The, the women hunt, hunting and fishing through the seasons is a good place to start to, uh, to socialize and find other women that are interested that might, will, will be able to show you how to do it. Yeah, I think the future is really bright for us. I think that we're getting, you know, a lot of momentum. We're getting a lot of people excited about what we're trying to do. And I think having some, some discrete action plans, I think, are, is really exciting. I've got a number of ways to get involved. Um, we do have a website, so it's www.womenhfs.org. And we're also on Facebook, so you can search for Women Hunting and Fishing and find us that way. Um, through the help of our partners, we're really making great strides. And so I just want to express our gratitude towards those organizations who uh, have the faith to support our vision and uh, are backing that with us or with some help for our organization to get us going. <laughs>